we are going to go over the Student Assessment History Report in Edugence. You can access Edugence through WebDesk or directly through the URL at pisd.edugence.com. Chrome is the preferred browser. You will log on with your Plano ISD network, username, and password. If you have any difficulties logging in, please contact the Assessment, Research, and Program Evaluation Department. If you're able to log in but see a blank screen, please remove all pop-up blockers from your computer. To access Student Assessment History, in the top right-hand corner next to your name, you'll click on the Apps icon and then select Reports. In the center of the page, you'll scroll down to where it says Plano Assessments, and under Combined Assessment, choose Student Assessment History. Note that you need to click on the words Student Assessment History, not on Combined Assessment. Depending on your level of access to Edugence, you may have the option to see an entire grade level or just your class. In the top right hand corner, you'll see the options to toggle between grade and teacher if you have those capabilities. Your campus should auto populate for you. You can choose your name and or your grade and a class from the drop down menu. Note that you also have the option of filtering your list of students by any of the special population codes that you see here. You'll generate the report by clicking on the green box with the white arrow. Note that this is a demonstration environment, so these are not actual Plano ISD students or their data. Here you will see all of the students in the first column, and then across the top you'll see their data. We have STAR and EOC data, COGAT data, MAP reading, math, science, and language usage data. For each student, you see three rows of data. MR stands for most recent data. P is for prior year data, one year before the most recent. And then P1 is two years before the most recent. Underneath each student, you will see an icon that shows their demographic codes and any special populations that they may belong to. When you hover your mouse over them, you'll be able to see what those codes stand for. In the star columns, you will see a student's scale score on their most recent star. Those star test events are color coded depending on if they scored did not meet, approaches, meets, or masters. Did not meet is red, approaches is purple, meets is blue, and masters is green. You'll see that same color code throughout Edugence. In the next few columns, you see COGAT results. You'll see a profile score, a verbal score, nonverbal, quantitative, and then a composite score. This profile that you see here is linked to the COGAT website, which will show you the full profile narrative for the student based on their COGAT score. The next set of columns is MAP. F is for fall. FS is for fall in Spanish. So if you had a student who tested MAP in both languages, English and Spanish, they could possibly have a score under fall as well as under fall Spanish. Then you have W for winter, WS for winter Spanish, S for spring, and SS for spring in Spanish. Notice that the MAP scores are also color coded. Because MAP shows a relationship to STAR, this color code matches the STAR color coding. Red indicates likely to be not met on STAR. Purple indicates likely to be approaches. Blue is likely to be meets, and green is likely to be masters. Each of these columns is sortable by clicking at the top the column header. So if I wanted to sort by a COGAT profile, I could click the P at the top, and it sorts from low to high, in this case putting all the students who do not have a COGAT profile at the top. If I click it again, 
Now it's going to click high to low and you'll see the highest COGAT scores up here at the top. In order to see an individual student's profile with more specific information about that particular student, click on their name. You can also select several students by clicking the check boxes next to their name and in the top right hand corner, choosing student profile. I'm just going to select one student for now. On any report in Edugence where the student name is clickable, it will take you back to the same student profile. Again, if your student profile is not populating, check to make sure that you have turned off any pop-up blockers on your computer. In the student profile, you will see the student's picture, their ID, as well as their Texas TEA portal code, which links to the TEA parent portal. You'll see their ethnicity and any special populations that they may belong to. The first page that you see in the student profile is their dashboard. It shows an overview of their STAR results, TELPASS, COGAT, MAP, attendance, as well as their schedule and other important pieces of information. The next tab over is the student's current schedule as well as their previous schedule and any absences or grades that can populate here. There is a section for parent and student notes. Be cautious about what you enter in the parent and student notes as well as internal notes as these notes may be available for parents to see at home. Where you see the star, this is where you're going to see the state assessment data. You'll see the star results the student has taken, the level that they scored on, their scale score, their raw score, and their percent correct. We don't typically talk about star in terms of percent correct, but that may be helpful in talking about star with parents. You'll see a percentile rank, what language the student tested in, and then you notice RC. RC stands for reporting category. These are groups of standards that RTEKs are broken down into. And you will see a percent correct for the student in each of those reporting categories. If the student has TELPASS results, they will appear here under state assessment as well. The assessments tab will show you map results for your students. These are the probability ranges that you are expected to use when sharing MAP with parents, as these are the same visuals that they can access from home. Notice that we have our four colored bands. Red or pink is for did not meet. Purple is likely to perform at approaches. Blue is likely to perform at meets. And green is likely to perform at masters. The MAP results will go back as far as kindergarten if a student has been in the district for that long. If you scroll down below, you will see a table of data that shows their specific overall MAP score as well as how they scored in each of the individual strands or the learning areas on the MAP test. Below that, you'll see specific COGAD information for your student as many times as they've taken COGAD in our district. You'll see their standard age score, their national percentile rank, and their age percentile rank for their verbal, nonverbal, quantitative, and composite scores. Again, this profile link takes you directly to the COGAT website where you can read a more specific narrative for each student. If you would like to share the visual of these probability ranges with parents at parent conference time, you can easily pull this up on your computer and use your control plus sign to make it a little bit larger so that parents can see that along with you. The next tab over is district assessments. These are the elementary unit assessments or the secondary progress monitoring assessments that we are putting into Edugence. Here you will see how students performed on each of those assessments over time in different subject areas, as well as by reporting category. Some unit assessments, some district tests will cover one reporting category, some will cover several reporting categories. 
The check mark gives you information about attendance for this particular student. There's information about discipline if it is applicable to this particular student. There may be some early literacy data in here for some students who are older and who've been in the system for a while. There's information about state assessment accommodations. If this student is a special ed student or a 504 student, this information is pulled directly from ESTAR or ESPED. So we have that information here. If the student is an MTSS student, then hopefully someone is entering that data into Edugence. So we have access to that here as well. And you'll know exactly what accommodations each student has available to them. Next, we have designated support documentation. If a student needs those designated supports on STAR. For an older student, we'll have college readiness information. For example, PSAT, AP results, any of that information that is shared with us, we will display here. The two arrows take you to accelerated instruction. This is where you will find information for your 4545 students, any students who are receiving MTSS support, this is where documentation of those meetings can happen, as well as documentation of the minutes that you're working with those students. This gives you a place to add a review for those students so you can document those hours. Here is the RTI tab, again for you to work with your Tier 2, Tier 3 students and document the work that you're doing with them. And then there's a page to attach documents. You can attach documents of many different file types to a student's profile. Be very cautious about the documents that you choose to attach to a student profile, as these will stay with that student's profile forever, unless it is removed by someone. This needs to be a campus conversation as, as far as what documents would be appropriate to attach to a student's profile. If you need to print a student's profile, you can click on the print icon at the top. This will create a PDF version of the student profile and you can choose which parts you'd like to share in that PDF. Make your selections of what things you would like to see included in that PDF and then click the print button. This will create a PDF that you'll find in the bottom corner of your screen.